What's up everybody, my name is Jason and welcome to the $10,000 EIDL Grant Stimulus Update sign the petition. It is Tuesday, April the 13th, my birthday, 2021. Please do me each favor, give this video a thumbs up, hashtag EIDL in the comments below and don't forget. Make sure you follow us on Twitter at Try Small Biz. That's Try Small Biz. Username Small Biz Inc. The company that I recently formed to help grow your small biz. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 51 years ago to the day, the good Lord, thank you very much, brought me into this world. And he said, you know what, Jason? You're going to do real well in school. You're going to be a three sport athlete through college, baseball. I was a pitcher, basketball. I was a forward, football. I was a quarterback and a free safety, but, 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 we're going to drop the pandemic of all pandemics in 2020, and you're going to start a YouTube channel, and you're going to fall madly in love with 64,000 strong on our way to 100 plus, but you're going to stand, as I said yesterday, ladies and gentlemen, in front of a brick wall, about six inches away, and you're going to pound your head on that brick wall until the blood comes flowing down into your eyes for at least 12 to probably 18 months. But when it's all said and done, probably sometime around July or August of this year, it is in fact gonna be 10 grand or the balance thereof, regardless of size, location, or credit score, those fucking loan caps are going back to $2 million in the next couple of weeks. You are in fact gonna get 24 months of working capital at some point, and yes, Big Ben Cardin and I, who's been MIA for the last month, are going to wipe out the idle loan so you don't pay the SBA a damn dime with respect to you-know-what, 19. So ladies and gentlemen, pull up a chair, grab a cup of coffee, ice-cold beer, whiskey on a big rock. Here we go. All right, I just had lunch with a dear friend of mine. Thank you very much, man. It was great to see you again. I've got hundreds, literally uh, over 350 emails in my, you know what, at remote say. I mean, I gave it out, ladies and gentlemen, and some of you are abusing it. You're sending me all sorts of stuff that I've probably answered 1,500 times on the channel. But like I said, if you have a question that must, must, must be answered, it's Jason at RemoteSales.com, a company that I've owned for about a year and a half, but I'm about to... Uh, kick off Small Biz Inc. in the next couple of weeks. It's going to start off as a mobile-friendly website where you're going to create a profile. Your products, your services, your contact information, they'll be classified. There'll be a lead gen system. It's going to be absolutely amazing. And then at some point before the fall rolls around, it's going to turn into a mobile app that you'll find in the Apple and the Google Store, etc. And I have a three-year plan. The first year, we're going to build the house. We're going to lay a foundation, throw up the wall, slap on a roof. The second year, we're going to move in all the furniture and make it look really nice. And the third year, we're going to have one hell of a party. So if you guys are willing to invest two or three years in moi and small biz ink, I can promise you, some of you are going to become filthy rich over the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years and beyond. So I hope that got you a little bit excited. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. We're gonna be able to work together. I'm gonna to spend a fortune on advertising on YouTube, Facebook, and Google. We'll have SEO optimization. I already have a firm in mind that's absolutely amazing. And again, the whole business is gonna be drive massive amounts of traffic awareness and attention through newsletters, through podcasts, through YouTube and LinkedIn Lives to you and your small biz so everybody watching me can make lots of moolah and you know what I actually have a damn good time by the way what do you think of my shirt it's a little it's a little big it's a double x but i think it's uh is it coors is that how you pronounce it k-r-s michael coors coors Q's, whatever it is right i feel much better than i did yesterday if you saw yesterday's video Mama said it's good. there's going to be days like this. Yesterday was a day like this. Today's a little better. All right, ladies and gentlemen, get to the point, Jason. I just did a poll, and I've done several polls. I've also talked to other folks out there. Pay attention to what Ryder over at Skip is doing. Here's the deal with respect to 24 months of working capital. So far, about six and a half, let's call it 7% of you have been asked to send in more documents. And as I said yesterday, the vast majority of those being asked to send documents have poor credit or in and around 570. They got incorporated right before the January 31st, 2020 cutoff, 
or they're in an industry like a real estate or something along the lines of agricultural, and it's thrown off a red flag. And for whatever reason, they're asking you for documents quickly. Some of you got asked within 24 to 48 hours. But 93% of you, including myself, have been asked absolutely nothing. And I've inundated the SBA with phone calls, emails, and on Twitter. Folks, we have 3,320 people following us on Twitter. That's up 15-fold in the last few weeks. I appreciate it very much. But we need 33,000 on there, and here's why. It's not for me and my vanity's sake. All of the people that we're after, Schumer, Cardin, Rosen, Cornyn, Nidia Velasquez, Maria Salazar, some of the new up-and-comers, which include Ted Cruz, I'll explain more why on him in another video or two, Alan Ellison, who's taking on Marco Polo, who's been an absolute fucking disaster for the state of Florida, and we may as well include the United States of America, with respect to the small business owner. He can tell you, the aliens are flying over our military bases. And if you think that's ridiculous, look up some of the uh, shit he's been saying in between his prayers on Twitter. Folks, there are four or five heavy hitters like Schumer. Are you listening, Chuck? What are you waiting for? I keep hearing you're gonna bring it up for a vote at the last week of April. That better be fucking true because if you turn your back on small business owners in the state of New York after you told us on August the 19th under that fucking oak tree in Peru that you were gonna get us $80 billion, Chuck, was it for the grant and another 100 billion for the loan? Well, now the EIDL for Small Business Act known as S513, and I'm gonna ask you to sign a petition in a second. It's only asking for $15 billion, Chuck. So we went from 180 when you said to everybody that was standing there an hour from where I grew up, oh, we're gonna get this done. We don't need 180, we don't need 100, we don't need 50. We need $15 billion to give everybody in low and especially middle and high income that's getting the big fuck you on the 10 grand, the money they were promised in the CARES Act. So Chuck, you've got about 10 days, I'll give you two weeks tops to call a vote on S513. And speaking of S513, ladies and gentlemen, I have pinned in my Twitter comment a petition that was started by Speak and See, one of the very few channels that's out there fighting nonstop. If I had to say, okay, who's been here since the beginning? It's definitely him. It's to some extent guys like Rod Squad, Steven Carlson, uh, Dan over at Allegedly, Aubrey Janik, a little bit of Purple Power, Max Maher, of course, JJ the CPA, PPP expert, Writer over at Skip, what is that? Maybe eight to 10 channels. There used to be about 35 or 40 last summer, but, but people get tired of banging their fucking head up against a brick wall until the blood comes down into your eyes for 12 months, but we're not gonna quit. And Speak is one of them, so I need you to do me a favor. I'll pin it in the top comment here. It doesn't cost you a damn thing. And by the way, to the smart ass who said, oh, asking for donations, I don't think so. I donated $50 to get another, I think it was, 1,750 people to see the petition, you don't have to donate a damn thing. Just hit the link here and pin in the top on Twitter. Takes you two minutes. You put in your name and your email address and it's telling the entire world and we gotta get to 2,500. I think it's up near around 1,800 now, which is several hundred more than it was this morning. We gotta get to 12, uh, 2,500. Then they send it off to all the people that I keep hammering along with Speak and the other channels. So they get the fucking point. That there's millions of people, five million in fact, that are in middle to high income communities that have been denied what they were promised in the CARES Act. And we ain't going anywhere, whether it's more petitions, whether it's people in the street, or as I said the other day, a lawsuit brought by Small Biz Inc. And that's why I need you guys to once again, save everything. Anytime someone calls you from 202 or an 800 number out of Texas from the SBA, you say, hey, I, I hope you don't mind if I record this call. That'll put them on their best behavior. And they'll say, well, why is that? Well, based on the advice of my two state senators, and you can even mention my name if you want to, I'm recording this call because I live in a purple zone or I've got my income receipt graph right in front of me. And I went down 50% economic loss March and April, May and June, whatever it happens to be. So there's no damn way I'm getting disqualified from you, Mr. SBA contractor, because I have exactly what it takes in order to get 10 grand or the balance thereof. But what this petition is all about, ladies and gentlemen, 
is to get rid of the madness surrounding many of you that are getting declined, even in low income communities. I want everybody to fill it out. I got a targeted idle advance last week. I filled it out. Have I heard anything? Absolutely not. Is there anything in my SBA portal to show that I was in progress as of today? No, there's not. I think I filled it out about a week or so ago. So whether you live in low, middle or high, you fill the damn thing out. You let the SBA say, mm, I don't think so. Whether you are in fact, in a low income community and did suffer 30% economic loss with fewer than 300 employees, or you happen to be in middle and high and need to be prepared for them to reject you. As I said yesterday, right now we have a five car pile up on Interstate 95 and anybody who's lived in Florida or up and down the East Coast knows exactly what Interstate 95 is. I think they called it what, Hamburger Alley? Because it's very dangerous, people doing very, very high rates of speed. We need a 500 car pile up, hopefully with no injuries of any significance, but you get the point. We need three, four, 500 people that can prove through screenshots of both their income receipts and the low income community graph on SBA.gov that I'm in a purple zone. Or I can demonstrate factually based on my tax records and my bank statements that I suffered a 50, 60, or as I've seen multiple times, 70% economic loss only to have some wet behind the ears contractor who's 26 years old working out of their house because the SBA is overwhelmed and they just hired him with little training about a month ago. Tell me, mm, I don't think so. You're a disabled or retired veteran. Thank you for serving this country. Nah, we're gonna decline. Oh, you're a single mother or a dad. I can hear three kids in the other room screaming their head off, but nah, I'm going to decline you the fucking money that you were promised in the CARES Act. I don't think so. So if this five car pile up, because you're gonna record everything, turns into a 500 car pile up, I'm making that call as I told you yesterday. Miss Isabel Guzman, I happen to think the world of you. My name's Jason, I am the founder and CEO of Small Biz Inc. Collectively between YouTube, Twitter, and soon to be LinkedIn and Facebook, I represent over 100,000 small business owners in this country, and very simply put, we want our $10,000 of idle grant that we were promised in the CARES Act. Now I know you're limited based on what the last stimulus bill said in terms of low income communities by way of the targeted idle advance, but we're not gonna stand for that. We're signing this petition, don't forget, pinned in the top both here and on Twitter, and we ain't going anywhere. Until it's 10 grand or the balance thereof, those caps go back to $2 million. I want 24 months of working capital now, not six months from now. And yes, Ms. Guzman, with your help, along with guys like Big Ben Carden, we want the idle loan wiped out, forgiven altogether, so that if you suffered an economic loss of, I don't know, 30% or greater, you pay the SBA, not a single dime. So ladies and gentlemen, I don't have much more to add. I'm gonna cut this video short. I once again want to thank everybody for all the birthday wishes. It means the world to me. This is one of the most significant birthdays of my entire life. As I said this morning on Twitter, my greatest wish is to get all of you 10 grand and 24 months of working capital ASAP. And I, along with Speak and the other channels, will not rest until we get the job done. So until next time, hey, always remember, I love you. And thank you so much for watching.